<clears throat> All right. So that's Electro, Rhino, Scorpion. Everybody's gone. All right. My friends, the Rhino and the Scorpion are back behind bars. But only after wreaking unimaginable havoc in a reckless rampage with Spider-Man. Hopefully, they'll never see daylight again. But we need to be ready if they do. Normal humans can't stand against the likes of the Rhino. So, here's my proposal. You mm -hmm. were the police dogs, right? Now bear with me. We train, outfit, and deploy police rhinoceroses. You got a rhino? We got a rhino too, baby! Jameson, that has to be the stupidest idea I've ever heard come out of your mouth. Okay. Now I know where all that dribble comes from. It's not from your brain. Alright, I think it might be time to say goodbye to the comic book, Spider-Man. I've actually been enjoying it. It's actually really, really fun. Let's see, let's see. Do I have any... I, actually, I want this one. But I don't have any more challenge tokens. <clears throat> and I'm not doing the Taskmaster missions over. So, yeah. Any of them that need challenge tokens will not get created. Sorry. Huh. I don't know if I want to rock with the homemade Spider-Man suit, though. I own it, but I haven't ever used it. Let's check it out. See what it looks like in real in real person. And if we don't like it, we can always change it. <clears throat> that looks really weird and funky. But, oh well. Yeah, in this lighting, yeah, that looks really funky. Sorry. I wanted to try and do it, but I'm not going to. Um, no. We'll try this one out. <clears throat> See how this one goes. I just feel heavier and bulkier. Captain, these Sable guys look like they forced all the residents out of a building so they could occupy it themselves. And locked up the ones who objected. Okay, that I can get something done about. But I need victims to come forward. I'll get the people out and have them file reports with the police. That's easy. There's RPG guys walking around everywhere. I gotta take out the snipers first, though. Where's another RPG guy? Let's not worry about that right now. See that coming. Mm-hmm. They not gonna see me coming. He almost missed it. Stand by. Yeah, don't be a snitch. Just get popped in the face. There you go. <clears throat> so they're gone. Where are my RPG guys? <clears throat> 
Oh, you're an RPG guy. Come here. Who can see you? Oh, he can see you. Hmm. Okay. Seems to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. See, I don't want to take them out on the ground. Got him. <clears throat> Gotta wait for it to say safe. So nobody can see him get snatched. Grab him. That's one. Somebody's gonna go be a snitch. Yep, that's gonna be him. Okay. You're safe. Ding! That's two. Need one more. Are you safe? You're safe. That's the three. <laughs> you said anything about hiding? <clears throat> so now they know something's up. But see, that's the reason why I don't take them out on the ground. Because if you take them out on the ground, the problem is their bodies is there. Hanging from these light fixtures, they don't see them hanging up here. They don't. They don't even know they're up there. They just know their men are missing. Come here. It's not what I wanted to do, but I'll do it. I will take it. There's no light over there. I need a perch point for me to be able to snatch him up. Mm -hmm. I can grab you though. Come here. Ding! Uh, I don't have a lot of toys on me. Oh, I gotta get the car. Gotta get the car. Gotta get the guy coming out of the car. Come here. Nobody sees you? Good. Now you're not a problem. Ding! Time to jump in. That's one. That's two. <laughs> That's three. <laughs> 
That's four. I thought I had him. That's nine. That's ten. All right. Now everybody can go. Stick. Now I can just knock out everybody. <laughs> Objectives are complete. I can just knock out people who I want. Let's go ahead and stand up here on top of the uh, helicopter pad. This will make it easy. Nope, I want that. You're right, y'all do. Come on. Good night. Hey, reinforcements. Now it's a party. We got a man down. Good night. That was stupid. Oh, I missed. Ow! You missed, though. Got him! Nice! Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Nope, don't hit me with that. Not to have anywhere to stay. It's a good thing these stable agents have body armor. I just might lose my temper. <laughs> nice. Keep them coming, boys. Nope, don't get that close. Who keeps shooting that at me? Bye. Pull for you. Start shooting them things at me. Where does that come from, Rome? Y'all can have that back. I'm on him. 
Mm-mm. That wasn't supposed to hit me. I gotta get rid of you. You're causing a problem. Uh-oh. Let's go. Nice. No shield. Never mind. Like him. Don't let him whip you. More backup? You know, for private security, you guys aren't very private. For real, you guys are everywhere. We need backup. Thanks. You guys are actually helping me out with getting these moves. You want something too? I don't think so. Goodbye. Who? Oh, oh, it's you. I got something for you. Here. Bye. <laughs> Gave him a nice little, uh, oh, that's still one guy left. Where is he? Where are you, one guy? Lost. Jeez. Gotta be more careful. Where is he? Oh, it's you. Hmm. Never mind. That's done. That was harder than it should have been. Thanks. And that's done. <clears throat> Captain, the people that were locked up are headed back to their homes. Good. And I finally convinced the mayor's office that making constituents homeless was not good for his poll number, so they won't be pulling that stunt again. And we have all the base tokens. Spider-Man, good news. The mayor finally cracked the whip on Sable International. No more locking up New Yorkers without due process of law. Guess they figured out it was a PR disaster. For once, we got a clean win. Well, not quite. I hear rank-and-file Sable agents blame you for stopping the gravy train. They'll be gunning for you even harder now, and no one's going to stop them. By now, I think it'd freak me out more if nobody was gunning for me. Let them come. I'll be ready. All right, and that is all she wrote, baby. So that should be everything, 100% on every area of the map. So yes, I had to make sure I completed the map because I don't want to be running around trying to do missions and you know stuff is everywhere on the map. It'll start driving you crazy, man. All right, so we're gonna step into the parlor. This is where we're going next. Luckily, it's right next to a fast travel point. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get a couple winks on 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 the subway, on the train. You need it, Spidey. You need it.
So I'm trying to figure out if I should change the suit up for the rest of the episode. So we're getting there, man. I think the next person we fight is going to be Lee. Because as you can see, man, we're at what? I think we're at like 80%. I mean 92 or higher. Yeah, there it is. We're at 95%. This is almost done. Like, done, done. So, <clears throat> I kind of want to end off the series on a different note. On a cool Spider-Man suit. We already did the Tobey Maguire suit. Let's just go with the, the game suit. That's right, we gotta help her get up here anyways. Alright, my bad. You know how the controllers get. Wow, you didn't even make it. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Here we go. So, all we gotta do is sneak in, find out where the Devil's Breath is located, and sneak back out, right? Should be easy peasy. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. Wow. Have people been waiting down here long? No, no. Only one or two hours. Wow. We all greatly appreciate Sable International's generous assistance with security. Another Has one? the penthouse been affected? Oh my, no. The new security room in the back of the lobby ensures that the mayor remains totally undisturbed. So he forced them outside of their homes, but now, okay, I see how that is. He's all nice and cozy in his penthouse while everybody else is stuck downstairs while they search the whole apartment. them up to create a distraction hmm well let's do that why isn't Osborne down here this sort of thing never happens to him the mayor and his friends are exempt security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away I knew it it's all one big boys club come on all right MJ oh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. You can't treat us like animals. How come Osborne never has to vacate his apartment for security sweeps? He's got some fancy new system installed in the back security room. No sweeps needed, they say. Plus, you know, he's the mayor. Definitely lost my post. <laughs> well, that tends to happen when you uproot people from out of their homes. Is there any more people I can rile up? No? No? Okay. 
thought, oh, no, there is. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember. Sable and I just walk right in. Your... You're not doing this for my safety. Shut up. That's totally Hello. Swear your way I know a few Sable agents who would love to okay. meet you. Hmm. Taser. Huh. So now she has a gun. Awesome. Oh, I can now stealth take down enemy. Dollar building with network speeds from 1995. Ooh. <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Stand by, control. I heard something. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Continuing sector sweep. That. <laughs> Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Okay. Let's get out of this room before we get spotted. Nice and slow. No one just elevator. in there. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Thank you. Stupid useless button. Mm. That was a close one. Luckily, we got in. Now we just need to find where the devil's breath is located. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Yep, I instantly saw something blinking over here. Oh, nice. What the heck is that? What is this thing? What is that? Huh? Whoa, this mask is incredible. There's a door. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? <laughs> I wonder where it leads. That was cool. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Oh, maybe I should have looked at this before I put the helmet on. My bad. I was a little curious. Y you know? There's something else in here. Oh, there's something over here. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? A uh, person that has something to hide. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What is this? Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. 
That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Why would you leave that laying around with that hint like that? That's really intelligent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I'm going to go to the wall. Let's see what else is in here that we can, uh, you know. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. I think there's something in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, fine. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Oh wow, there's so much stuff in here. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Hmm. We'll find it. We will. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine. wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. So much wine. I saw some stuff back here. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Nothing out there? Nice. Look at the look at the actual pool. Upstairs? That's nice, man. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. I think... Harry has the same disease that killed their mother. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Hmm. TV is highlighted. Anything out here? Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza. Not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. <laughs> Look at this view. Right underneath Avengers Tower? I don't know about that. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Yeah, because Harry had it all. He wanted the simpler life. 
Man, there's so much stuff everywhere, man. You gotta check everywhere. Norman oh, that and picture. Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Hmm. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. The key! Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Thank you, picture. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. <laughs> and it leads directly to the pool area. Oh my god. That's amazing. What else in here that I need to snoop on? So what's up with this picture? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Hmm. Yep, there's something else right here. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? I think that's the reason why Harry went to Europe for the treatment. I'm just speculating. I don't really know. I've never really seen the full playthrough. Ah. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. Nope. What were you hiding from us, Harry? I told you. I had that feeling. Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. Hmm, okay. He planted a tree on top of the building? Or she? Like, I can get it if it was inside of a plant, but... Like a planter or something, but... It looks like it's built into the, into the ceiling. Yep, picture! More stuff. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Is that everything? I hope so. Goodness gracious. Is this Harry's bathroom? Goodness. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. I'm assuming I can't, no, I can't walk through this way. Even though the key should work both sides, I still have to go this way. What? This can't be for Harry, can it?
Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Yeah. Most people hide their weaknesses. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Leaving for Europe today, ha. Not sure how this is going to go. Dad says there's no risk, but that's dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50, so okay. I might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if no risk at all turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them, please. Thanks, Dad. Love you. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry, really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick, like really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing mom had. Ooh. I've known for a while, but I thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you cuz, well cuz, I didn't tell you. I was worried how you'd react, and I couldn't stand to see you got go through what I did with my mom, watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help, watching her die was worse than the dying, okay? Things got really bad recently. All those times that I was wiped out from partying or just super busy, not partying, not busy, sick. This Euro trip will... Well, it's a cover. I'm going for treatment experimental long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promises it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it. Devil's Breath. Says it makes something good seem scary. Maybe Devil's Breath is what I need. little bit of the bad to do a lot of good okay dad's here time to go so wait he Osborne and them created this to fix Harry uh-oh <laughs> uh-oh it I just got that not rush off without a plan we? you are staying here the antiserum is ready and I'm going to supervise production you will be completely vulnerable without me I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, oh, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. I might not need this right now. Yeah, that's not gonna work right that. Got movement, stand by. Bye. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Might have something control. Stand by. Can I stealth take down them now? 
Still? Why well, can't? Zap! I can't go this way? You guys suck. You're gonna make me go the long way. Alright, game. Keep going that way. Yeah. Toss that over there. So you go that way. Got movement. Uh-huh. Oh no. Got movement. Stand by. Nothing here. Yeah, I was I wasn't paying attention to the other guy. Dang it. <clears throat> Seems I took the long way around because when they redid it. Continuing sector sweep. Wait, where are they? all of them? Okay, it's only two of them. All right, cool. Huh? Who's there? Go in there. No. Go look. Okay. July 18. Bingo. Sorry for this door to open. Thank you. Super creepy. What did Gotta I find the location of the devil's breath spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Uh-oh. Okay, this just got really, really bad. Okay, the tables. Alright, I can access the tables. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Hmm. That's interesting. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. He always had that, though. Honestly. Him and Dr. Octavius really kind of fit the bill, you know? Alright, I'll come to the table. Give me a second. There's a recording over here. Let's find out what that says. Norman Osborne, GR27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure. Not a disease, but try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath. A child's x-ray, but it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. Is this Martin Lee? Okay, so I, I shouldn't have did that. Norman Osborne. GR-27 research log. <laughs> the whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more 
research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. So... Peter found out that. That's not anything new. It was designed to be the cure for all diseases. But it's the way that it attacks the host to try and fix the disease. It kills everything else. So it, it's engineered correctly, but it doesn't in apply itself correctly. And that's the problem. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Mm, kind of makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. No, I need to track Michaels. Van Adder is it. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. I had no idea they owned so much of New York. Really? I mean, his name is on half of the buildings in New York. Unless you never looked up. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Yeah, but I don't see where those... Well, actually I do. They do intersect a couple times. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Well, that's interesting, you know, isn't that? That one, like, directly over intersects right there. Bravo, bravo, bravo. And this must be the C team. So what's there? No. Norman's not great. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. No. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. So it would have to be this one. Or this one. Good old Alpha Team. I think it's Bravo. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. There it is. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. Wait, his parents brought him in? Oh, 
parents died. What have you done? Oh my god. Norman and Otto. They started all of this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. Ooh. Who's there? That's not good. <clears throat> Hurry. Oh Thank you. Is that a Black Widow? It is. We have a breach. High alert. Why does that spider have the number 72 written on it? Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. I'm out of here. It's, oh no. Who's there? Is she coming up? You're amazing. <laughs> Aww. Did I see a little glint of happiness in her eye? Of course she did. Because <laughs> she jumped off of a building and expected him to catch her. So much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. How is this your fault? Care. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. Oh, she still got that spider on her. Well, now we know how Miles gets bit. 
<laughs> Foreshadowing much? I have to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for me. It was a pleasure. We found out so much about the plot. Now we understand why Lee's parents got killed, how they got killed. A better understanding Folks, of where he got his powers when from and how that happened. Who caused it? Medicine. I say to myself, it's weird. We are better than this. You are better than this. I've known you my whole life. I am proud to be a member of this community. Don't give in to fear. Help each other. Stand up for those who need it. I've always hated hearing Spider-Man called a hero. Because real heroes are the people who get up every day with no special powers and do the right thing simply because it is the right thing. So I'm asking you now, be the heroes I know you all are. J. Jonah Jameson believes in you. First time I've actually heard him say something that wasn't mindless dribble. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the series, I mean, end the episode right here. Thank you guys again for stopping by to check out my live stream here on Twitch. If you guys are watching this as a VOD on YouTube, remember in the description there is a link where you can come over and you can watch us play these games live over on Twitch. Follow us over here. Hit that little bell so you get the notifications when we do go live. Uh, this is not going to be the end. Once we finish this Let's Play series, I want to jump right into those DLCs. Knock those out. And then we'll move on to the next game. The reason why is I want to complete this so we can have it completely done. So when the new PS5 version comes out, we will be jumping on it and checking that out as well. Uh, as well, make sure you guys are following me on Twitter at Soulful Size Gaming. So you guys can keep up to date of what's going on with me and the other individuals in our community. The streaming and gaming community that we do support. But uh, yeah, thank you guys again. I'm going to get up out of here and get me a little something to eat. Hope you guys are having a good weekend and a hope you guys have a good week. Tomorrow's the beginning of the new week. Tomorrow is Monday. So uh, yeah, I'm out of here guys. Have a one. Later.